Hi, my name is Allie Kaplan, and this is my demonstration of Weber's Law. I have container X and container Y. Container X has five marbles. Container Y has five marbles. Container X is going to remain constant throughout this experiment to determine a per my perception of weight. Both items weigh the same. I am going to add one marble to container Y at each step to see when I can determine a weight difference. Mm -mm. Still feel the same. Some marbles got away. I got all stay in my hand. These do feel a little heavier at this point. I've added three at this point. So I'm gonna mark down one, two, three. Right here, I kinda detect a difference. I definitely can tell these are heavier at this point. So I don't know if that means that my perception is being influenced by my knowledge that they're being added. Yeah, I, I can easily feel these in my hand now, and these are still super light. I would not necessarily be able to tell the difference between what these felt like one marble ago. I feel like I detected heaviness earlier. Yeah, it's so obvious that it's heavier at this point. Yeah, I mean, obviously this is heavier. All right, there's all my data. Now we'll go to part two. So here is part two of Weber's Law. Uh, I noticed something funny in the first one. I put 13 marbles in my uh, jar here for adding because I was not certain that I would sense a difference at five marbles. And I sensed a difference before five marbles, so I ended up with more marbles than I needed. So this time, there are only 10 here so that I do not get confused as I'm adding and forget what I'm doing. So here I go for part two. I've got container X, which has 10 marbles, and I have container Y, which also has 10 marbles. I'm going to make sure they all sit in my hand the same. So container X remains my constant. Container Y is my experimental data, so adding a marble. No discernible difference. Nope. Second marble. I should be writing this down. No difference. Third marble, which in the last experiment I noticed a difference. Nah. No difference there that I can detect. Fourth marble. Can't tell a difference. Keeping that one far away just in case. Okay, there are five marbles remaining, so I have added five marbles here. Okay, so this time clearly I feel that this one... Yeah, there is a definite difference now with this one. So this time it did actually take me getting to the fifth. Uh, marble. Be curious to have a series of bags with the different marbles and go back and forth to see if you can tell. Yeah, so still heavier. I can't discern that it's heavier than it was a second ago. So I've got three marbles left in the container. Yeah, clearly heavier. Heavier. When I first started this, I was pushing all the air out when I did my trial run and realized, uh, thanks to my cameraman's, uh, camera woman's note, that air doesn't weigh anything, so I didn't have to squeeze the air out. It's heavier. Last marble. It's interesting. I, I actually can tell, like, I could tell it was heavier when there were just five more, but with ten more added... It's significantly, like, I can immediately tell the difference. There's a huge difference in this than this.
All right, so that is my, that concludes my experiment with container X and container Y, perceived weight of marbles. Thanks.